There is no part of the grind that comes easy. If you have a goal, what makes you think this is going to be easy? There is something called equivalent exchange. It means that in order to get something of value, you have to give something of value. And I'm gonna say it again, because you probably don't understand how important this is. In order to get something of value, you have to give something of value. I remember growing up as a kid, my favorite group, Bone Thugs and Harmony, they had a song in the chorus went something like this. There's always something you got to give up, 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 up to get everything you want there's always something you have to give up 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 to get everything you want you desire something let's just come up with something you desire to have ten thousand dollars saved in your bank account no that's a stupid goal you desire to make ten thousand dollars a month that's the goal that you want right how 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 are you gonna do that when your direct deposit from your job right now is eight hundred dollars every two weeks so you're making sixteen hundred right how are you gonna go from sixteen hundred to ten thousand how is that gonna happen first of all answer this question is it possible is it possible that I can go 1600 to 10,000? Nothing else matters until you fully believe in the answer of that question. Is it possible? I'll tell you about me. It is possible. It is very, very possible. I went from being a, a chef, making 40, 50 dollars a night in tips. I think they were paying me five or six dollars on my on my paycheck or seven dollars, something, something illegal, really. I got a corporate job, and you know, you know how I got the corporate job. I had to write a resume that had all my skills on there. I had to use my network. I had to use my connections. I got a corporate job that now put me in a position where my salary is now $25,000, $26,000. But the thing about it is, it was a commission job. So my commission range was anywhere from about six dollars to $8,000. $8,000 being best performance ever, six being worse. I took that job because I moved up. I moved from, okay, I'm making $45, $50 a night. So I wanted to move up. Okay, cool. Y'all gave me $26,000 in salary plus commission okay so my mindset is now I'm making the most money I think I was 22 or 23 I'm making the most money I've ever made in my life but let me not be comfortable with the 26 27 thousand dollars they're paying me let me not be comfortable with that because I just told you the max was around eight thousand I've never seen an eight thousand dollar paycheck in a month so I told myself at that time I said aim for the eight thousand even if you don't hit the eight thousand if you do the behaviors that is going to take for you to get eight thousand you might fall short at six thousand and since I was coming from forty five dollars a day six thousand sounded real good to me so I'll tell you what I did I stopped partying I stopped going out I stopped hanging out with people I was new to sales this was a sales job I studied sales I studied the people I work with. I studied the people in my region. I studied people in different markets. I studied people at different companies. I studied myself. Every single day, I asked my manager for coaching, for feedback. Why didn't I get that sale? What did I do wrong? What should I have done differently? What would you have done? Every single day, I was being coached because I proactively asked for that. I desire, I told my managers I wanted to be the number one performing rep. I need your help. So they helped me. They didn't help me because it was their job. They helped me because I was helping myself. And that's what a lot of people don't do. You expect a handout from someone else, but you're doing nothing for yourself. And that doesn't make sense. There's always something you have to give up to get everything you want. I stopped partying. I stopped going out. I stopped hanging out with people. There's always something you got to give up to get everything you want. I wanted to see an $8,000, $6,000, $4,000 paycheck. I had never seen it. I came from $50. So after months and months and months and months of grinding, of coming to work early, leaving work late, grinding, studying sales, studying human psychology, building a network within the community, guess what happened? I got my first $4,000 commission check. I was extremely grateful. I was very appreciative of the journey and of the grind. But it's like here, you're here trying to climb a mountain. This is the peak of the mountain. That $4,000 paycheck was about right here. It was, I'm like, ah, I'm, 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 I'm almost there. I'm not there yet though, but I'm, I'm almost there. I eventually got the $8,000 paycheck and I eventually created to $10,000 a month. One reason, because I understand sacrifice. That is the only thing that separates the $50 person a day or whatever, tips, $50 in tips, to consistently making $10,000 a month, sacrifice. What are you willing to give up to go from here to there? What are you willing to teach yourself to go from here 
to there. Who are you willing to ask for advice and go from here to there? And they're probably not going to help you. I'm telling you that right now. If you find me on the street and you ask me, teach me how to make 10, 13, whatever, whatever money you want, I'm not going, I'm not going to teach you. I'm not going to teach you because I can't teach you. No one can teach you that. If we, if we go ask Tony Robbins, Tony Robbins, you have a multi-million dollar company. Teach me how to make money. He's not going to teach you. Anybody, Grant Cardone, he's not going to teach you. Go talk to Bill Gates, he's not going to teach you. Every single person is going to tell you the same thing. Build yourself, believe in yourself, expand your knowledge, and consistently take action because that is the rule. That is the law of success. That is how you make money. That's that's it. There's nothing else outside of that. We can get into the specifics, the details, but until you do those four things, nothing else matters.